Hello everyone, welcome to our kitchen. Today, I will teach you how to cook egg. Excellent! <laughs> I'm just here to relax and prepare my hot chocolate. Now, do you also love drinking hot milk or hot chocolate? Yes, please! Now, I have observed that when you place a metal spoon in a hot chocolate or hot milk, the heat from the beverage goes to the spoon. But, have you also tried using a spoon with rubber or plastic handle? Yes, there is less heat transferred to the spoon. Now, do you want to know why this happened? Now, come and join me and let us explore science. Transfer of heat is what we call conduction. This happens when the particles near the source of heat begin to vibrate more rapidly or faster as the energy increases. Now as these particles collide with the neighboring particles, some of the energy is transmitted. Now this results in the increase in heat energy that will be passed from molecule to another molecule until the whole object becomes hot. Now take note that heat only moves from hotter things to colder things, and different materials differ in the way they conduct heat. Now heat and electricity in a way are related from the way they conduct energy. Electricity is also conducted in materials that allows particles to move rapidly such as the metals. Woo! Now the materials that can transfer heat easily are called thermal conductors. But materials which conduct electricity easily are called electrical conductor. Now most conductors are made of metals, coppers, aluminum, and silvers. That is why cooking pots are made of metals because the energy transfer of heat from the stove to the food must occur effectively. However, it is important that the handle does not get uncomfortably hot that is why the handles of the pots are made of thermal insulators. Now, thermal insulators do not allow heat to pass or flow through them. This is the reason why spoons with rubbers or plastics do not get hot when placed on a hot chocolate or milk. The other insulators we use are wood, plastics, and rubbers. Now, did you know that heat is not just around you? Try to feel your neck or your arms. Yes, heat is also generated by human body. That is why we use loads. And sometimes during our bedtime, we also use blankets so we cannot transfer heat that easily. Now for animals, the feather of birds, thick hair of mammals, and body parts are natural insulators which protects warm-blooded animals. Now look around you. Your house and other buildings are also protected by insulators so heat would stay inside. Woods, fiberglass, roofing, rubbers, 
and other polystyrene coated materials are good insulators. Electricity are also controlled from transferring by insulators. That is why the electrical wires have to be insulated with plastic tubing so we cannot get electrical shocks. And how does it work? Oh no! As the insulated flex goes to the plug, which is again made of plastic, the copper wires go to the metal pins, which will conduct electricity to our gadgets or any appliances. Well, not only metal are good conductors of electricity, but also liquids such as the water. So never touch any electrical devices or even wirings when your hands are wet. Yes, even your sweat can conduct electricity too. Oh no! Now gases on the other hand are poor conductors of heat and electricity because their molecules are very far apart, making it harder for them to collide with each other. Now, this collision, again, is very important for these molecules as they are needed in electrical or heat transfer. Now, are you ready for our activity for today? Get your pen and start answering. In this activity, you are going to classify these materials as conductors or insulators. Now, are you ready? You are given 10 seconds for each item. Let's go! Number 1 Comment your scores. Hulk smash! So that's it for today guys. And I hope that you have learned a lot today. Now do not forget that our body is also a good conductor of heat, electricity, 
and positivity. So always share that warm smile and hugs to your friends and family. Bye for now!